Next report, we meet volunteer Li Guandi from Malaysia. Although unmarried herself, Li is like a mother to her nieces and nephews, for whom she cares for constantly. Bringing that sense, same sense of commitment and responsibility to Tsuji, since becoming a Tsuji commissioner in 2007, Li has recruited 400 new Tsuji members. A participant in this year's Global Tsuji Team Leaders Training Seminar, let's now learn more of Li Guandi's story. Right behind her niece as she makes her way to class is Tsuji volunteer Li Guandi. Although caring for a child with Down syndrome is far from easy, Li does it all without a word of complaint. My daughter has a disability, but she looks after her as if she were her own daughter. <laughs> In addition to caring for her younger brother's daughter, Li has also been there for her older half-brother's family. After her brother passed away, it was Li that offered to look after her brother's three children so that her sister-in-law could work outside the home. During those hard days, she was our savior. On Mother's Day, we do everything in twos. For example, we buy two bouquets of flowers. As committed to Tsuji as she is to her family, after work, Li brings her niece along as she collects recyclables at a nearby mall. Inspired by her efforts and unwavering commitment, Li's family have themselves joined as Tsuji volunteers. When she encounters difficulties, we see that there is no thought of giving up, neither does she complain about her situation. For Li, setbacks or hard work are nothing to be afraid of. We want them to feel that we are talking to them with a heart of joy and a proper perspective on life. That is very important. Li Guandi became a Tsuji commissioner in 2007 and has since introduced 400 people to Tsuji. This year, she made a point to travel to Taiwan to attend this year's Global Tsuji Team Leaders Training Seminar, after which she will return to Malaysia to continue to teach and inspire those around her.